So I hopped on to show y'all this pom pom. You could just it's just plain yarn and you can use um multicolor yarn or you could use solid color yarn, whatever you want to use. So my multicolor you see it started this starts out as pink, but I cut it and I used it in this pom pom. So but the color change takes a while, so I wanted it. I'm gonna wrap it with this. I'm gonna use two strands, so this is a color change too. It's purple to blue to teal or whatever. But I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna wrap them twice. So if you're doing this by yourself, you can get help, but you could you could also do this do this by yourself. So you can just hold the two strands and you just you're gonna wrap them wrap this around your finger as many times as you want to and you just keep wrapping just keep wrapping keep wrapping keep wrapping if you want a small pom-pom then you just um you don't have to wrap a lot i'm gonna use all of this though all of it but a small tail don't worry if it comes off of your fingers just push it back through Just keep wrapping. Okay, that's the end there, but I'm gonna unravel it some. And then I'm gonna cut. Now you can, if you had somebody with you, then the piece that you cut, you see, there's the end, there's the other end. So it's pretty long, it's probably about 18 inches. You would take and push it up through here. You could use a bobby pin or whatever. Use your fingernails. Push it up through there. So you could get it to come in the middle of this so you could tie it. Now, what I did to do the put the keychain on, I just took a piece of this um, chain and went on and connected it. Let me take it. I'm gonna take this a loose. I'm gonna take it off my finger so I can show you that you could do this without put, leaving it on your fingers as well. So you can just slide it off, but make sure you let that hole stay open. So I got a little piece of chain. This is a aluminum chain. And I got it from Fire Mount Gems. This chain does not tarnish. It is tarnish resistant. And it's a soft chain, so you can cut this with your scissors. With your sturdy pair of scissors. So I just cut a few lengths. Nothing major. And what I do is I take the other piece of yarn. I doubled it. I made it um, double. So when I tie real tight, it doesn't break. Because if you do one strand, it will break. So I just take it and fold at the fold and I just feed it through one of the links of the chain and slide it to the middle. And then if you if you're not if you don't have anybody to help you do this, you can put it back on your fingers or you could just put it lay the ball in the center and then just wrap the yarn around it. And pull as hard as you can to tighten it. This is old, very old. You might find some of the videos on TikTok. But they, and they make things that help you shape these. So that's it. You do that. Then you're gonna take your scissors and get in between there where your fingers were, and you're just gonna cut. Go on the other side, make sure not to cut your tail. And go through there. And cut. Now, if you like it like this, you can leave it like this, but you shake it. And you have 
something like this. So now the shaping comes. Like I said, they have um, things that I help you do the shaping. But what I used today, I just, if you pull, these will come out. So that's why you want to make this as tight as you can get it. So I just took this and just kind of squished it down on top. And make sure I get my tail so I don't get it in the way. You want a circle shape. You can do you can eyeball it. You can do it by hand if you want to. You don't have to have that. But that just gives you a guide to how much to cut all the way around. And you just cut. Just cut. If you want it fuzzy, real fuzzy, you're gonna cut a lot of this off. You keep moving your guide out of the way. I mean your tail. And you just keep cutting. used to make little rugs and stuff out of this all kinds of stuff so that's one way that was the way like you have a tail on that end and you have the chain on that end so then you could take and flip it over to where the tail is and cut that as well like trim the extra little pieces just go around don't cut your tail Keep moving it out the way. Be careful not to nick yourself. Sorry about that camera shake. Okay, and after you go around and get that lined up how you want it, it you still have, you've done the tail side and you've done the chain side. Then you'll need to open it up this way and do these sides. So you just squeeze it down because when you shake it, it still won't be, it'll still be out of shape. So you squeeze it down the other way and do the sides that don't have the tail and the chain. And this time you have to worry about keeping your chain out the way. And just go around, keeping your tail out the way. It's easy to cut your tail. You, the w reason why the tail is there be is because if you don't do this for a keychain or an earring or some sort, you'll need that tail as a marker to tie on something if you want to tie it to some tie it to something. And after you do all this, you'll still end up having to shape it another way so just flip that over and do this side just make sure your chain is out the way because again that my chain is aluminum chain and it's soft it's a soft chain so my scissors will cut it if it gets between my scissors So, then you'll shake it out. Just shake it out. And it's starting to form now. Just shake it out. And you'll see you, sometimes you miss some cuts in there. Now you can go in and freehand. The shorter you cut it, the fuzzier it will be. don't have to use that you can use your hands and just go around cutting eyeballing any area that might need to be trimmed down
this is a preference um craft cut until you get it like you like it now since we have this the tail is just when you're doing a keychain, it's mainly for you to have another something to hold on to, to gauge what you need to do. But since we're making a keychain, I can go ahead and snip the tail off because I'm pretty much finished cutting. Now it's just me fussing with it. And shake it. Might have to skip it and trim some more. Like I said, the more you trim, or the shorter you trim it, the more the more yarn you wrap too, the thicker it will be. Because I did a lot for this one, a little bit, a few more wraps for this one. But yeah, that's the gist of it, guys. Make any color combination you want. You see in there that piece there. Just go in there and make sure you don't have any of those. And just, just cut them. But if you don't cut it like I just did, it will pull out. So, And if you want to make sure it doesn't pull out, then you could probably put some glue in the, in the middle of it. After you pull it up off of your fingers. You can probably put some glue in there. But, that is all to the little pom-pom ball. like getting a haircut and that's it guys Fuss with it until you get it perfect, but it's pretty much good. This one is the one I have for the classy keychain. It's a little bigger. It took more wraps. That's it.